<laughs> Danuta was the lady upstairs from me when I was about two and a half. She took care of me. And her real name, she was supposed to be called Senora, because in Italian, it's Senora for Mrs. And, uh, but at two and a half, Senuta was the best that I could do with that word. And uh, the only problem was it means you're nude. And it's always been an embarrassment because everyone calls her Senuta to this day, but she's a real sport about it, and uh, she's a wonderful woman. And uh, she taught me my first number. And, uh, you know, how to get on a table and, you know, dance around. And, you know, every once in a while, you know, like if I play a dinner club or something, I can, you know jump up on the table and uh, do a little dance. And I remember back to the time when I was two and a half with uh, Senuta, whose real name was Senora. I thought Blue Angel was going to be it. <laughs> what do I know? I tried my best, you know. And, you know, every time you go in, you think, oh, boy, this is going to be a hit. You know, and sometimes it's a big bomb, you know. But you do the best you can, you know. You, you try. You sing. You always got to feel it's going to be a hit. Otherwise, why are you wasting your time? You know, I... You could sing to the cobwebs, and you could sing to the um, wallpaper anytime you want. But I, I wanted to get out there. But I thought it was going to happen with Blue Angel, and it didn't. And uh, I thought it was going to happen with this one, and it did. So I guess, you know, I'm even. I think the reason my videos were successful because is because they directly related those videos to me personally but that's because i put myself in it i mean i really put myself in it. i didn't just you know star in it and i think that came across and the good times and the good feeling that everybody had when we did it came across and that's very human and that's fun and that stuff is the real that's real stuff you know when people feel good around each other that translates on camera and so that, I think, is what became so contagious. I'm happy that I gave people a good time, made them feel good, made them get up and act a little crazy, because everybody's a little crazy. I couldn't believe it. When, when girls and uh, time were uh, doing that good, I says to myself, you better pinch yourself because I couldn't believe it. I was glad. I felt like I was really singing out to everybody. And I felt like, good, for once in my life, I did good. It's a great feeling. If somebody came up to me and said, then I want to do it too, I would say, whatever you want to do, know what you want to do in your heart, know who you are and then go do it. And you might have some setbacks, and it might be hard at first, but it's, if you want to do it, and it's in your heart, and it's in your blood, then you should do it, because you'll be miserable if you don't. And, and that's what you should be who you are. And some people are natural singers, and some people are natural writers, and some people feel music, and they just have to do it. And sometimes just doing it is success. Because think of the people who don't do it. So if you're not successful right away, I mean, it took me, what, 10 years, all right? So if you're not successful right away, so what? So what? What's success? Is success having, what was that Joni Mitchell song? You could have been more than a sign on the door on the 33rd floor. More than a credit card, more than a pool in the backyard. If you want something else, then you should do it. If you want the pool and the credit card and all of that, then you should do something that'll get you that. But it might not be music. It might be just being a smart business person. But you got to do what's in your heart 
and you should never find yourself at any time turning around and saying, you know, I could have been, because you'll always feel coulda, shoulda, woulda. Does that make sense?